Evening all. Back on the canal today. I'm in a different location. I've not fished this spot this year. I was oohing and ahhing whether to come here on the way. Um, but I thought I shouldn't change my plans. And uh, as soon as I got here, looking in front of me, there's lots of blows already. It's probably about, I don't know, 20 past six at the minute. So I've only just got here, I haven't cast it out yet. Got Fred with me as well. But yeah, plenty of little blows already. So hopefully get some tench. But I'm also gonna try for some rud today. So see how it goes. It's absolutely blowing like mad at the minute. There's, there must be loads of fish. I reckon it might be green, but they're blowing everywhere. So I can imagine there's quite a few fish in this little narrow bit. So I don't think it'd be too long before I get a bite. They are absolutely blowing mental down there. Can't believe it. Surely there's got to be a fish soon, Fred. And float just out here. A little bubbles coming up around it at the minute. Another bait on the bottom feeder rods down here. So my feeder rod's just gone. It's all these bubbles. So just got myself a nice, nice tench, nice, nice male tench. Give a nice old fight. Beautiful. Tench number one. Load of weed. That's pretty good going. A tench in the first uh, 40 minutes of me being here. There's still loads of blows going on around all over the place. Um, no, it's nice to get a tench on the feeder rod as well. I haven't had one on the feeder rod for a bit. It's been mainly float lately. Got no bait on the float, so that's probably why that one isn't doing much. Got a nice bird's nest in me. Let me real, I put new line on the other day and in the right state here. First little rud on the float. Not exactly what I wanted today. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to pick it up. But it's a slimy thing. Nice little, little eels. First eel I've caught in a long time. I think he needs to go back. <laughs> oh, that's three fish in the first hour. So I've had um, one rud, one tench, and one eel. I haven't caught an eel, I, well, can't remember the last time I caught an eel. Hopefully that is the last of them. I don't really want to be dealing with them. Unfortunately, it was, um, it took the hook so deep down that I couldn't, I couldn't return the hook. So I've had to, unfortunately, cut the line as tight back into its mouth. I'm pretty sure they're quite hardy, uh, creatures so I'm sure it'll be fine certainly had loads of life left in it when it was going back in anyway let's try for number four now see if we can get a roach
So we get quite a few people walking on walking on this spot. Obviously on opposite the campsite here. So there's a few people coming in and out. They're all stopping and quite fascinated over Fred and on how he just stands there and drools over my rods. Still getting blows in in your place. Thought I might have had a few more on the float rod. I'm sure something could go in a minute. Sun's still up in the air. It's probably got another hour and a bit before that clears off. Can imagine it might get a little bit better. Hopefully, a few more tench on the bank, which should be nice. Do with no more eels though. Well, I'm seeing quite a number of um, blows really tight to the other side of the bank. The um, the sun's probably a little bit low enough for that side of the bank to be sheltered of the sun. So I'm fishing in the middle at the minute with my feeder rod. So I'm thinking about possibly moving it now to the margins where they they seem to be popping up with blows here and there so I might might be able to intervene with one closer to the other side I have got my float further over the other side I think it's time to maybe give that a go see if that produces a fish the ducks are gone now thank god it's quite a lot of them, still quite young, reasonable size, still hanging around with the mother. Well, it's been a while now since I've seen any blows. It's, uh, well, starting to think maybe the fish have moved out of this spot. It's really quiet now, which is unusual. Well, I say it's unusual, I haven't fished this spot for a while. But the activity when I first turned up was pretty full on. <clears throat> and I've not really seen any blows for probably half an hour or so now. I did have a little rud just now on the, on the float, but it was tiny, about an inch and a half long. But it seems to have... Um, really slowed up. I thought it might have uh, picked up now. The sun's gone behind the horizon. I'm going to give it a little bit longer. Hopefully it might pick something else up. But I'm not going to chuck too much bait out now. I'm going to plan on maybe fishing um, Tiverton Parkway tomorrow. The ponds on the Exeter license not fished that for a while, certainly not fished it in this sort of style with a float and a feeder. I've only ever carp fished it really, but it'd be nice to try and uh, maybe catch a carp on this outfit tomorrow, that would be fun. So I might get up reasonably early tomorrow, not too early, because I might go home and have a few beers tonight or shortly. If I don't get any knocks or any bites within the next half hour, I might just call it a day. I don't know how much more um, saliva Fred's got left. However, he might be running out. <laughs> but yeah, it's gone, it's gone a bit quiet. started to pack up um, it was only an, only ever gonna be like a three hour session today <clears throat> I thought I'd call it a day now but I'm just gonna take my time because uh, where my feeder rod is it is absolutely going mental there so I'm hoping I might get a tench while I'm packing up I think there's a few fish there by the looks of things there's 
quite a few patches of bubbles coming up, quite a lot, quite aggressive. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that old feeder rod with the maggots on will, will bend round in a minute, hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to start, carry on packing up. Hopefully that one will go off. And if you don't see me with a fish in a minute, then I'll see you next time. Bye for now.